Hey guys, welcome to this new video about Spring Data Specifications. Before jumping to specifications, let's talk about Spring Data Query methods. We can use JPQL or native queries using query annotation, like in this example. The same thing we can do it using the named queries at the entity level. Also, we can use methods names like here. But what if you want to build your query programmatically, which is more suitable for complex search forms and helps you to detect errors at the compilation time? To do this, we have Criteria API. It's introduced by GPA2 to build queries programmatically. So, we construct query definition objects which are transformed to the executed SQL query. Let's see this example. So here, first thing we do is creating the query from the user. Then, for each search criteria, we, we, cre uh, we create a predicate. Here, we, we gonna search users using their first name, last name and email. We apply the predicates and then we return results. And to implement all this, we need a custom interface which is extended by the user repository. This method has some inconvenience. Look at the criteria builder part. Here, for each search field, we have a predicate. The problem here, we can't reuse these predicates. And other inco inconvenient uh, is we write a lot of code in one method. To solve this problem, Spring Data GPA takes the concept of a specification from Eric Evans' book domain-driven design, following the same semantics and providing an API to define such specifications with the GPA criteria API. This example shows how it looks like. We have a specifications class that contains predicates, one method per predicate, which allows us to use them independently. And the repository should extend the GPA specification executor. This is all. Stay with me, I'll show you how to implement it and use it. First thing we do is generating a new Spring Boot project. We need the Spring Boot Starter Data GPA. We need also the H2 dependency to create an in-memory database and the Ibernate GPA, GPA model dependency to use the meta model API. We're gonna see this later. And the last thing we need is the Spring Boot starter test. Okay, now go and create a new user entity that contains just for example ID, first name, last name and email. Then we create uh, a repository that extends the GPA specification executor interface. Now let's create a user specifications class it will contain three specifications. The first for uh, for first name. So we're gonna search users that have uh, first name like the first name in parameters. Uh, we test if the first name is null, uh, so we ignore this specification. If not, we add uh, the we add the first name criteria using the the like operator. Same thing we do with last name and also for email. 
and here we use the equal the equal operator okay now let's go to to test to see how to use this I created different test cases to see how we can use specifications. Let's see this test. The GPA specification executor interface declares handy methods to work with specifications. For example, now we can find all users with the specified first name with this one line. We can combine multiple predicates using the WHERE method and the AND or logical methods of specification interface like in these examples and in this example shows that we can ignore first name predicates if the first name argument is null in brief Spring does everything for us and saves us from writing all the criteria API boilerplate and we have the possibility to reuse each predicate in many queries. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. You find the link of the source code in the description. If you have any question, just comment below. See you in the next video.